Well, can you believe it? The summer is over. School's about ready to begin. And welcome back to the 2022-2023 school year and our first edition of Riceburg News. I have some really exciting things to share with you today. And let me start by first showing you our new calendar. So look for that on our website. Nothing's changed on it except the look. And I can tell you, Tana Martin has done an exceptional job. It's so clean and concise. And it's easy to read. So please check that out when you get a chance. Also want to share that we have a very passionate and enthusiastic group of new teachers that you will entrust your kids to every day. And they're going to be replacing some pretty darn good, pretty darn good teachers that have left us but I think our new staff will fit in well. I know they have some high expectations for your children, and I believe they're gonna help improve our educational atmosphere. All of these new teachers will be on board beginning August 1st. All staff returns on August 3rd, and you bring us your children on August 10th. So we're all looking forward to it. Speaking of children coming back on August 10th, please check out the website for our dress code. We've made some minor tweaks to the to the dress code that was approved. Nothing major, but I just want to draw your attention to some of them. Um, I know that this will be sent. It'll be on our website. It'll also be sent to you through email. So under the the bottoms, it meant it mentions athletic attire. Athletic attire. We kind of got a little lax with athletic attire last year. The pants either need to be jeans, khaki, or a chino type material not athletic wear. So please be aware of that. Under the tops, the board agreed to give us a little bit more flexibility with your children by allowing a patterned or a striped collared shirt. We do require collars on our shirts. And if they're going to wear a t-shirt, your children, they need to have a Riceburg College or military ready t-shirts. In addition, outerwear that goes when we're wearing a some kind of a hoodie or a sweatch top those dress code they must also comply with our dress code so t uh, sweatshirts or t-shirts with graphics or big advertisements of a specific company those are not allowed they must be college military or, or um, el campo t-shirts and outerwear the other thing to be cautious of is if children are going to wear an outerwear, they're, what they're wearing underneath must also comply with the dress code. And one little last change, middle school students will be allowed to wear backless shoes. The reason for the backless shoe um, change and making all elementary students wear shoes with a back is because they use those same shoes for PE and for recess. And that is not the case for the middle school students. I'd also like to make some other points of emphasis, which is that full written dress code will be on our website, on our Facebook page, and Valerie will email this to each and every one of you. Just so you're aware, Valerie is also working on a phone app that will appear in, our, in the app store. And this app will contain the school calendar, an event calendar, an athletic calendar, many important documents, and will allow you to push notices to your phone. Check it out when it comes live. I know safety and security is heavy on everyone's heart, particularly in the wake of the Uvalde, Uvalde tragedy. The board and the city council approved additional school resource officers for the district. Those school resource officers will serve at our elementary schools and add to the two, the one that works at the, at the middle school and the one that is at the high school. I'd also like to highlight some of the security measures that we'll put in place. At our most recent board meeting, the board approved a large financial commitment to the safety and security of our children. Number one, we will harden many of our front entrances and foyers. We will limit access to buildings. We understand this may cause an inconvenience, but the safety of our children and our staff is worth every bit of the inconvenience. We will be adding security through sensor notifications on doors that get propped open. 
We also have security that will be added with cameras. Those will probably come in a little bit later in the, the fall semester. I also want to mention the glass. We have a lot of glass and that will require additional security. We are purchasing film that can go on glass windows and doors that although things can penetrate them, the glass does not fall out without a 60 to 90 second pounding on the glass so it won't be instantaneous access into our buildings. We're also going to add window wraps and masonry walls in certain areas so that people just can't see straight into our schools. This will prohibit their vision and hopefully turn them to softer targets. I wanna also emphasize our key component going into this year is going to be the relationships we'd like our staff to develop with your children and with you, the parents. This is critical. This is more than anything we can do in regard to hardening our schools. We want them to be a safe and loving environment for which you can feel your children are gonna be cared for and be safe. So again, welcome back. 2022-2023 is here and it's a great year to be a Riceburg. Check us out weekly.